Hello, I'm Joe Wren. A bill changing how much some Hoosiers will be compensated for energy they produce is among the bills signed by the governor this afternoon. The legislation decreases the amount that utility companies are required to pay for excess energy produced by some sources, such as rooftop solar panels. Some rates will be grandfathered in. Another bill signed by the governor closes what some are calling a loophole that allows some convenience stores to sell cold beer. Attention was brought to the issue when Rickers obtained permits allowing them to sell cold beer at two locations. In a statement, the governor says he understands Indiana's alcohol laws need reviewed. The bill lawmakers passed this session requires that 60 percent of alcohol sales be for on-site drinking in order for permits to be renewed. And Bloomington-based Middleway House Incorporated is celebrating donors that helped the nonprofit domestic violence shelter pay off the mortgage on its new wings building. It shows that we live in a community and a world who believes in organizations that work hard to help others. The new wings building holds many services provided by Middleway House, including emergency shelter, a 24-hour crisis line, and a legal advocacy program. Middleway House says it raised over a half a million dollars during the campaign. The campaign was started by former executive director Toby Strout's daughter, daughter Anna Strout and actor Jesse Eisenberg. And now here's a quick check of the forecast. First for the rest of tonight, partly cloudy, lows down to 41 degrees and more rain in the five day forecast. Tomorrow, a 40% chance of rain, 55, 60 by Thursday, more rain on Friday. Highs in the mid-50s, a slight chance of rain on Saturday, highs up to 58. We have more news on our website at WTIUnews.org.